Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I want to talk to you about the new Firefox, but especially one add-on. Uh, many people I know that are kind of tech savvy are using or used to use NoScript. And um, it's a good add-on, however with the new version of Firefox the layout of NoScript changed and a lot of people had to not use it or just stay with the old version. However, when I moved over to Firefox Quantum, <clears throat> I uh, realized uh, there is a better add-on available actually, and it's called U-Matrix. In this video, I want to talk to you about how to make U-Matrix work the same way as NoScript, and how it is actually better uh, than NoScript. So the first thing we're going to do is install it. Uh, to do that, you press Control shift a to open the add-ons. Then you scroll all the way down and you click on See More Add-ons. Then this will pop up and then you will click on Find Add-ons and you just type U Matrix and it will already appear. Here you go. And you, got, you have this here, U Matrix by Raymond Hill. You just click Add to Firefox. It will ask you if you really want to add it and list its permissions and you just click on Add. After you've done that, it will appear in the top right corner of your Firefox. Pretty easy so far. So, now we're on Google. And if we click the icon, we can see all the things that it's blocked in red and all the things that it allowed in green. The first thing everybody who uses NoScript will notice is it allows scripts by default. See? First party scripts, Google scripts, they are allowed. And we don't want that, no script users will say. We want all scripts to be blocked, and I can totally understand that because I have that as well. But by default, it is turned off. We need to do a little bit of changing in the program, but it's very easy to do. So in the top left, so if you click the icon, and then in the top left of the, the screen that opened, there is a little icon. You click that, and then this will open. It's the settings menu, and there's quite a lot of add-on uh, settings and a, a few tabs. And the tab you really need to click on is My Rules. So there's a few rules you can add in here. The permanent rules are listed on the left side. You can't not change those, but you could append to these. And on the right side, you can see the temporary rules. And you can actually do you can actually change those by clicking on Edit. And then you have this edit edit thing, and you can type away. Now, what we want to do is we're going to go to the last free space and type the following. We type a star followed by a space, followed by a star, followed by a space. Then we type a script, followed by a space, and then block. So that's what we type. That's all we type. Then we click on save. As you can see, it's almost, it has a different color. It's completely blacked, black, while the others are gray, which means that it will it's new. And if we want to add it to our permanent rules, we click on Commit. And as you can see now, in our permanent rules, script block is here. So by default, all scripts will be blocked. So if we reload Google and click on the icon again, you can see that all scripts have been disallowed, and that we can't use them. Now about the fine-tuning. If we want to fine-tune how it works, it, you can do this a lot better in your matrix than you can in GNOME script. You can allow or disallow certain domains. You can allow images on a certain domain or s remove the allowance on a specific domain. You can fine-tune it so much better. Many people think the UI in UMatrix is difficult to use, but it's actually not. And I'll explain to you how you use it. So you have these fields. I'm going to start at the top. So you have a, you have a row called cookies. This is for just for cookies. So if you click on cookies here, all cookies will be allowed. And as you can see, in each box, there's two regions. There's the top region and the bottom region. The bottom region is disallow. The top region is allow. And you just click anywhere to remove it, to remove the temporary thing. 
let's say you want to actually allow scripts in Google. What we do is firstly allow scripts, the first party scripts, and there we go, scripts are now allowed. However, when we would restart our browser, these changes would not be saved and we would have to redo it again. So if we want to change this and if we want to say, yeah, we trust, I trust Google, I trust these scripts and I want these scripts to be allowed all the time, but only on this domain, you need to click this padlock icon. It's currently open, which means the, these changes have not been saved. And if you click it, they have been saved. So whenever you close your browser and open it again, Google's scripts will always be allowed. So if we open YouTube, for example, you can see it won't load. Why? Because we haven't allowed scripts. So, well, we're going to allow first party scripts and we're going to save it permanently. Then we need to reload the page. And as you can see, it works. As you can see, also see, it also kind of functions as an ad block because the ad right here is not allowed. Pretty cool, isn't it? We can just close it and we've never seen it. Now, actually looking at videos does not quite work. Um, so if we start a video, it won't load. Um, and if you click on the icon again, we can see ooh, there's a lot of things that uh, have been disallowed, but we need them. For example, we need Google Video. And if we reload now, we can check. Does it work? And it does. So that's kind of how you use U Matrix. You need it starts off by not allowing anything, and over time you kind of gather things you need the website to do and disallow everything else. For example, we don't need all this other stuff so far, do we? It all works without it. So we can change these changes permanently, but all the other things that we have not allowed don't need to be allowed. With the website functions perfectly without them, doesn't it? It does. So we don't need to do anything else. And ads will be blocked. Everything will be blocked by default. And if we have uh, the script blog, block enabled, it will automatically block scripts as well, which is very good for safety because JavaScript and all these kind of scripts are a security issue. But yes, it's quite easy to use, as you can see. Um, just a little heads up, I would not recommend you allowing these. If you click on these at the top here and click on save, temp oh, permanently, it will allow cookies, for example, everywhere. And if you say, well, media, and you click on green here, it will allow all the media on every website. Just a heads up. So I would definitely recommend you do it on a side-by-side, site-by-site -side basis. So do not just say, yeah, I allow media everywhere, allow cookies everywhere, allow frames everywhere, allow scripts everywhere, especially. You do say, oh, okay, I allow, um, for example, Google Video to give me media, images, CSS, XHR, but please don't give me script Google Video. And you say, well, Google.com, you can allow images, but please don't give me any scripts. Or, well, maybe, maybe I do want Google scripts. Then I say, click. As you can see, it's very easy to use. And if you want to revert all the temporary changes that you've did in your current session, you just click on this uh, erase thing up here and it removes all temporary changes. Of course, there is so much more you can do in your matrix. There is so much you can do in here. And maybe I'll be covering this in a different video, but I just wanted to show you a little bit about how to use it and how it's a lot better than NoScript. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.